Psychic Vampires How to Be One and Harm None Have you been diagnosed as manic? Have people told you you're draining them or they get exhausted around you? Have you noticed that you get very amped up or feel great intensity or anxiety in crowds? Do people find you intimidating just being in their presence? Do you go through hibernation and seem to sleep for days, have no energy, or feel depleted and hard to pull out of that depressive space? If this sounds like the cycles and experience of your life, there is hope. Chapter 3 Energy Manipulations Many practices use the understanding of chakras, the main seven, or chi energy. Practicing that flow of energy, especially in the palms, is an excellent way to begin to direct and be aware of the energy flow and draw that we are connected with. My personal experience in Reiki and Tai Chi assisted me in understanding the flow, directing it, and giving it that energy intention in a way that enhanced what I had already learned in my mystical studies and working with the elements. The chi, or center of our energy bodies, is the solar plexus chakra between the heart and sacral chakras. Its color is yellow, like the sun, and its power is thousands of times greater than the sun itself. Imagine the ability to use that energy in constructive and creative spaces. To feel the chi energy, many start with an exercise that allows you to feel the energy resistance in the palms. You hold your palms facing each other in prayer hands, fingers pointing up but together. Pulling back slowly, you push back in and move your hands further out until you feel the limits of the pushback. You may even start to move your hands like you are holding or rolling a ball of energy if you are fully attuned to your flow. That is your current radius of energy activity, that point where you no longer feel the resistance of the energy from the other hand. This energetic activity can reach so far out that your arms are only collecting it and drawing it in, which is the goal. The purpose of this training is to reach within and beyond, to vibrate with the cosmic energies that have so much more to offer in feeding the energy body. Find the practice that resonates within so that you can be that beacon of peace throughout. Another easy exercise I learned very early on in my use of crystals and candle magic was to use that same energy in my palms to push and pull the candle flame. I started with crystals that would amplify my energies, like clear quartz or selenite, and I would feel the energy exchange between my palm and the flame. I would shift that energy and watch it grow, shrink, dance, be still, however I directed it. This was my first understanding of how we are beings that can use the energies of the elements and the earth, or Gaia energies, around us. That realization was very many moons ago, and from a girl that is a mere memory of useful but outdated understanding in the nowness of my experiences. Hello, this is Samantha Phoenix. Thank you for listening to Chapter 3, Energy Manipulations, in the series, Psychic Vampires, How to Be One and Harm None. This chapter was to introduce you to my early experience and how I got started in understanding the flow of energies and how I could direct or manipulate those energies based on how I projected or drew in that energy. We are going to have an entire chapter based on some practices, including the candle and the chi ball. So I'm not going to talk a whole lot about that right now. What I really want to address is that it doesn't matter what the practice is. If it works for you, it works for you. So you can try the things that have worked for me. You can listen to some others that talk about energy manipulation or flowing energy or how to control the energies. There are a lot of different ways that you can connect with your energy source.
with that chi energy and then learn how to direct it through your body through those chakras the more you learn how to direct them through your body or through the tools you use uh, for other mystical practices then the greater your experience in understanding exactly how that flow is working is going to become It gets to a point where you always feel it. You feel it when you're drawing it in. You feel it when you're pushing it out. You feel it when other people are shoving their energy at you. So understanding how those energies flow from us and to us is ultimately what that whole idea of energy manipulation is about so that we can be consciously aware of what we're doing with that energy. Join us for our next episode, Chapter 4, How Are You an Expert? Episode 4 in the series, Psychic Vampires, How to Be One and Harm None.